Race number three, the Great Wood Hurdle, is the first race of the week over Timber. And it's a two-mile grade three handicap hurdle. The top one is Rule of Maze for Craig Allen, Bad Vassler for Darren Thompson, Kingdom of Man, Joshua Sutherland, King of Spades, Ryan Tamasebi, Anastasia, Paul Rhodes, Baron Scroop, James Shea, Greek Kingdom, Paul Rhodes, Colbrook Answer, and Treadwell Shell for Graham Clutterbuck, Winter Garden for Jim Murray, and Brilliant Melody and Annie's Land, the bottom two for Alex Cherry. Brilliant Melody, a winner last time out. And they are all called in, ready to go, and off they go then, racing towards the first of the eight flights of hurdles that they will negotiate in this great wood hurdle. It looks like the Alex Cherry pair are going to go off and dispute the lead. Brilliant Melody closest to us, and his land, the lighter of the two horses, pulling for its head as they get over the first flight, which they are all safely over. So it's Alex Cherry 1 2, and Paul Rhodes 3 4, as Anastasia and Greek Kingdom are chasing the leading pair. Colbrook Answer on the inside is in fifth place. And the rest of them in a bit of a bunch as they make their way towards the second of the eight flights then. And as they do so, it's Brilliant Melody on the outside who's in the lead. From Stablemate and his land second. And they get back to Greek Kingdom and Anastasia as we see them over the flight that'll be the last on the next circuit. Now we're going to see them racing away and out into the country then they'll take the third shoot I think indeed they will, well, it's the fourth shoot actually isn't it and it's brilliant Melody and Anisland disputing the lead from Greek Kingdom and Anastasia and then Winter Gardens move through into fifth looking towards the back, Bad Vaslow has just dropped back and is struggling to go the pace at the moment doesn't appear to be on a going day today that one is already three lengths adrift of the remainder and getting further adrift so I don't know if there's something amiss with that one but it certainly doesn't appear to be enjoying itself much today so it's brilliant melody and Annie's London as we get obscured by trees over that flight but we think they're all over it okay and we're still standing according to the graphic up in the top corner and it's brilliant melody and Annie's land we'll be clapping these trees are out of the way and we can see them properly as they race down towards the midway point in the race then this next one will be the fourth flight, and that will mean half the jumping's done as well. They're already in the second part of the race. Bad Vassler has indeed been pulled up at the back, so something definitely amiss with that one as they're all safely over flight number four. So four more flights to take then, and seven more furlongs to race. And Brilliant Melody and Annie's Land are providing an Alex Cherry 1-2 at this stage, with Anastasia back in third and Winter Garden fourth. Then Greek Kingdom is five and Kingdom of Man is six, and then a bit of a gap to Rule of Maze and King of Spades. And then Treadwell Shell, Baron Scroop is being pushed through to take much closer order the back marker, Colbrook Answer. They're over the fifth then there, and they've got just three more to take. And Brilliant Melody and Stablemate and his land are disputing the lead, but the pack are beginning to close, headed by the roads. Pair Greek Kingdom and Anastasia. Winter Garden is still there as well. They've only got three more to take. They've got a little more than four furlongs to race. And Brilliant Melody, a winner last week, is in the lead. From Annie's Land in second. Greek Kingdom and Anastasia third and fourth. Coming round the outside with a good looking run is Kingdom of Man as they get over the third last. And Brilliant Melody is going on still in the lead. The one that's dropping away is Annie's Land, but Brilliant Melody being pushed along in front is too clear of King of Spades who's now getting into it on the outside. Anastasia is there. Kingdom of Man still there. So is Greek Kingdom. This is the second last and over it they go and King of Spades landed in the lead and started to pull away. It's King of Spades in the lead. Anastasia's trying to chase in second. So is Brilliant Melody. Still trying to stick on in third. And then Kingdom of Man. They're coming out towards the final flight then now. They've only got one more flight to take and one foot on the race. And it looks like King of Spades has shot the lead and he's going to win this one. He skips over the final flight. He's well clear. Nothing is going to get anywhere near this one. And King of Spades is racing up the hill. The one that's finishing like an absolute train on the outside was the Grand Principal Horse. But not going to get anywhere near the winner. So King of Spades it was that took it then and as we see on the replay King of Spades must have won that by a good six to seven lengths it's not quite sure about that it looks like the Graham Clutterbuck horse has got up to be second but according to that it's only fourth but the angle very deceptive there but it's King of Spades taking it for Ryan Tamasebi, Greek Kingdom for Paul Road second, Winter Garden Jim Murray was third, Colbrook answer for Graham Clutterbuck fourth and the long time leader Brilliant Melody for Alex Cherry stuck on to be fifth.